Hello, this is Sunrise Daily TV, your number one news and entertainment channel. My name is Prince William Chimese Richards, the CEO of Sunrise Daily TV and Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative, LTG GT. Please play Sunrise Daily TV, your number one news channel. Yo, yeah, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your favorite boy TC Virus, aka Yoga Director. Guys, I want you to subscribe to Sunrise Daily TV. Sunrise Daily TV. Now beg at the beg Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more of this. Hello dear viewers, you're welcome on today's news episode of Sunrise Daily TV. I am your host, Chini Ijemazi. Here is the news headlines. After three years, late Joseph Wire's corpse arrives in Nigeria, Governor Otsu in the dark. Two killed as Cameroonian military invades Abansonia village. Hano ex-governor Ganduji wife seeks orders to appear in court on Thursday. Wiki's wife takes the oath to serve as a justice of the court of appeal. United States Navy relieves commanding officer of duty two months after she went around in Africa. After three years of demise of the former Senate President of Nigeria, Dr. Joseph Wyatt, and his corpse deposited at London Hospital, the United Kingdom. His body has arrived at Uja to begin an eternal journey. According to videos and reports, the body landed in Abuja from Heathrow Airport, London, on British Airways flight BA083 at about 4.40 a.m. on Wednesday, July 10, 2024. Among those who received his body were the senators representing Cross River Northern and Central Senatorial Districts, Senator Jeremy Award and Senator Ete Williams, members representing Obaniku Bipara of the Federal Constituency, Honorable Peter Apanke. Convener of Who is Who in Northern Post River, Dr. Don Claims in Ampe, his children, amongst others who were also at the airport. The Cross River State Governor, Senator Basi Otsu, was conspicuously missing in the course reception and was subsequently driven away in a special utility vehicle to the National Hospital in Abuja. A source who reviewed the movement disclosed that Governor Otsu was in his Asokoro residence, either unaware of the movement of the remains of the late Senate President or he was not properly briefed. Abdullahi Ganduje, the National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC, his wife, Hafsat, and six others are scheduled to appear before the Kano State High Court on Thursday. They face charges for suspected bribery, diversion, and misuse of millions of naira. The current state government filed the lawsuit before Justice Anna Adamu Alibi. The court had earlier granted permission on June 5th to serve the respondents through such tutelled means. The respondents in the case include Abdullah Kanduji. First respondent, his wife, Hafsa, second respondent, Abubakar Barobo, third respondent, Omar Abdullah Omar, fourth respondent, Jibrila Mohammed, fifth respondent, Lama Properties Limited, sixth respondent, Safari Texas, seventh respondent, and General Enterprises, eighth respondent. At the previous course sessions, only Nurayim, 
Jimo Sam represented the six respondents. Properties Limited, the other respondents, including Gandhi, were not represented. Justice Amina Adamo Aligi has scheduled the hearing for July 11th. Residents of Oko, in the Ambazonian village of Pamali, in the Moketunja Division, Northwest Cameroon, are really after a violent incident on Sunday left two civilians dead and several persons injured. According to local reports, Cameroonian military forces enters the village and opened fire, resulting in casualties. A resident who wished to remain anonymous for safety stated that his mother was shot in, during the incident but is currently receiving medical attention and responding to treatment. The Anglophone crisis in Cameroon, a conflict between the government and English-speaking separatists seeking independence has plagued the northwest and southwest regions for several years. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing violence that continues to impact civilians. While unconfirmed by independent sources due to security concerns, the resident's story sheds light on the human cost of the conflict. Human rights groups have long called for a peaceful resolution to the Anglophone crisis and an independent investigation into abuses by all parties involved. Justice Eberechi Suzette Nyeso Wike, the wife of the FCT minister Nyeso Wike, takes the oath to serve as a justice at the court of appeal. And now, foreign news. The United States Navy has relieved the commanding officer of the expeditionary mobile base ship USS Hershey Woody Williams two months after the vessel briefly went aground outside of the African country of Gabon, a Navy statement announced on Monday. According to Captain Leonard Mitchell, the commander of the Williams Gold Crew was relieved by Vice Admiral. Thomas Scher, the commander of the United States Seized Fleet, due to a loss of confidence in his ability to command. The Navy's statement added that the relief occurred as a result of an investigation into the soft grounding of the Williams near the port of Liberville, Gabon, on May 9th. And while the investigation is still open, sufficient findings of fact emerged during the investigation to warrant the relief of the commanding officer. Typically, the Navy is quick to remove a ship's commander after a grounding, usually moving within days or at most a week or two. When the cruiser USS Port Royal ran aground on the shore off the coast of Honolulu in 2009, the Navy waited around four days until the ship was free to relieve its commander. When the USS Howard suffered the soft grounding near the Indonesian island of Bali on August 10, 2023, the Navy relieved its skipper, Comrade Kenji Igawa, just nine days later. In 2014, the Navy took about two weeks to fire the commander of a frigate, the USS Taylor, that ran around in the Black Sea. And that's dear viewers, we have come to the close of today's news. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For your advert placement and event coverage, do well to hit the number on your screen. Get it, 
Hello, this is Sunrise Daily TV, your number one news and entertainment channel. My name is Prince William Chimis and Richard, the CEO of Sunrise Daily TV and Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative, LTG GT. Please make Sunrise Daily TV your number one news channel. Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your favorite boy TC Virus, AK Younger Director. Guys, I want you to subscribe to Sunrise Daily TV. Sunrise Daily TV. Now beg at the beg Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.